All right, so you got a torsion bar suspension Honda and you want to get coilovers to lower it. Well, there's a couple options in the marketplace, but which one is for you? Watch this video and we'll help you decide which suspension option is going to meet your goals and make your car that much cooler. Hey there, Marcus DiSabella from Heel Toe Automotive. I've been messing with torsion bar Hondas ever since high school, which is back in the mid 90s. I'm not trying to date myself, but I've definitely had these cars for a very long time. And over that period of time, I've come to learn that these cars are really great, capable vehicles, but there just has never really been that much support for aftermarket suspension. Uh, as far as dampers go, it used to be the Coney shocks, but you would always have to send them out to get them customized. Well, that was a really difficult and expensive proposition because even in the late 90s, Kony had discontinued the dampers for these cars. What to do? Well, after a certain amount of time, I had started this business and started working with a couple of different vendors and now here we are 20 years later and we've got two really great options available. I'm gonna go over them right now. All right, we're gonna come in hot with this BC Racing coilover kit. BC Racing is a really popular brand. They've grown a lot in popularity over the last uh, five to eight years. Um, they have a really wide range of product available for a lot of different cars, and at last, they have a coilover option for the torsion bar cars. A lot of people have these already. They've given pretty good feedback about them. So some details that you'll find out about them. The first thing you're gonna notice is got a coil spring in the front. This is something that people have wanted for these cars for a very long time. Uh, a few people I've known in history have customized it, but now you can get a bolt-in option from BC Racing. So the coil spring does have the implication that you don't necessarily need to upgrade the torsion bar. And some people think that maybe you don't even need the torsion bar at all. I did talk to BC Racing about this, and you will st still need to use torsion bars with this kit if you're going to do it properly. Um, it helps carry the load of the car to keep some of the load off of the shock towers, which aren't really meant for handling the full weight of the vehicle. Uh, I know that some people have used these with and without torsion bars, and everybody universally says that it's good no matter what. Well, I'd like to test this myself and see what setup really works the best because I'm just not really sure that taking out the torsion bar is the greatest idea. Um, it provides some stability to the suspension, and again, it helps balance the load uh, on the whole front end of the frame. So that question is to be answered uh, still. Now, you can use this kit without the spring at all. You could just use the upper mount and the damper as a strut and maintain the torsion bars or buy an upgraded torsion bar as we do have those in stock and just get rid of the spring and remove that complication if it is something that you're not really sure that you want to get into. Uh, the other thing is with this kit, uh, they're full length adjustable, which means the damper body is threaded all the way down. And that allows you to lengthen and shorten the complete assembly by unscrewing and screwing in this lower bracket, which is great because it gives you a lot of height flexibility. At the maximum height, you're gonna be really actually pretty close to the original equipment height, right? It's got a really big tire gap, but if you don't really wanna lower the car, uh, if you wanna maintain more of like an OEM look, then you can achieve that with this kit by lengthening the damper all the way uh, to the maximum. Also, at the extreme short end, it will be very, very short and lower the car quite a lot if that's what you're looking for. Uh, the other thing to mention about these is the springs. BC Racing famously offers custom coilovers wherein you can order them with custom springs, spring upgrade from Swift Springs, things like that. It's important to note that those options are not available on this Torsion Bar Honda kit. The springs are kind of like special shape and they really don't have other universal options or other spring ray options for them. So you're pretty well locked in with the four kilogram front and three kilogram rear springs. And I will say that three kilogram in the rear on these cars is rather soft, especially if you have an Integra, which has got a little more mass uh, than a CRX or a Civic. So ultimately, if you're looking for a lot of height range ability and a comfortable soft ride, then the BC Racing Kit is gonna certainly work for you. So what is the other option? Well, the other option is one that actually we came up with in a partnership with Tane all the way back in 2003. Recognizing that these suspension kits um, needed to be designed around a factory layout, 
but there were certain limitations with the factory layout, we wanted to solve those problems with a kit of our own. The number one problem that you're going to find with these suspension uh, in the factory car is that while you can lower it uh, for free basically by just adjusting the torsion bar, you'll run out of shock travel really quickly. This kit was designed with shorter dampers to allow more lowering without running out of shock travel so you can maintain ride and handling at a lowered ride height. So just bolting this damper kit into the car is going to lower it about an inch, inch and a half, somewhere in that range. And you will have some uh, lowering ability beyond that. I think you can get up to about three inches down with the Medieval Pro Tain kit which is plenty of lowering for most people. It's gonna get you a really nice flush with the fender look um, that a lot of people are looking for. If you're thinking that having to use the factory torsion bars is a limitation, then you, know, you really have to keep in mind that this is the way the car is designed. We do have upgraded springs available, torsion springs that is, in 24, 27, and 30 millimeter sizes, which are all upgraded over the factory 19 millimeter size. When you use the factory torsion bars, the weight is all underneath the car and uh, the load is carried in the floor. So it actually keeps the top of the car really light and this is what makes the cars feel really nimble. Adding extra mass to the top with the extra spring and such doesn't necessarily help you with performance. So I'm not really sure that the BC Racing kit was made with ultimate performance in mind the way that the Medieval Pro Tain kit was. Case in point. We have optional spring rates for the rear. You can get four, five, six, seven kilogram rate springs. We've actually supplied up to 12 kilogram rate springs for people, and of course, revalve the dampers along with those through Tain's service, uh, overhaul service option. So that's something that we've actually provided people with competition level Medieval Pro damper kits. So it seems like the Medieval Pro kit is pretty simple compared to the BC Racing kit and it may feel a little foreign because it doesn't have a coil spring in the front. It actually is a perfect fit for modifying torsion bar Hondas as well, all the way from the ground floor up to competition use. That's not to say that the BC Racing kit can't be made for competition use as well, but you are going to have to come up with some custom spring mounting options, at least for the upper mount in the rear, I would say especially, um, because the variety of springs that would be available in the aftermarket just won't drop right in here. So with some ingenuity figuring out how to get higher rate springs in there and sending the dampers to a third party who can revalve them for you is certainly an option. Just keep in mind that you're going to have to get a little creative in getting all that done. So ultimately the full length damper um, feature is really valuable at that point, but it's got to be very valuable if you're going to invest the time and money to turn these into competition level parts. Some other commonalities with these things, they both come with documentation. The BC Racing documentation is really pretty nice. It tells you how to set up the coilovers and adjust them. Unfortunately, it doesn't provide vehicle specific measurements for you, so you will do a little trial and error getting the height and preload set up the way you want it. The Tain kit uh, does also come with an instruction sheet as well. Neither of these are installation instructions, but they're more like product support instructions. One thing that is nice about the Tain kit is it does provide some baseline measurements to help you get these adjusted before you put them in the car so that you can more easily get off the road to a good setting. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you are going to lower these cars aggressively, you will need to re-index the torsion bars. We've mentioned this in previous videos. I'm planning on doing another video that's got a little bit more detail about re-indexing. I'll link those in the description for you. But re-indexing the torsion bar is an important part of getting you know, that two inches down in ride height because otherwise you're gonna be at the end of the range of the adjustment of the torsion bars and it's just not really ideal to be in that situation. And the last thing that both of these kits is gonna need, especially if you've gotten it lower than stock by at least an inch or more, um, maybe less of an issue if you've got the BC Racing Kit and you're keeping an original height, is that the pan hard bar is gonna to shift to one side of the car. You get an adjustable pan hard bar to bring everything back to center. That's gonna be important for either one of these kits and it's a byproduct of lowering the car, not really which one would need it and which one doesn't. One other thing to consider is if you want to get camber caster plates for the front of these cars. Because they're strut suspension cars, the upper mount location will dictate some of the alignment angles. So if you want to get a little more camber to tilt the tires in, get a little more grip in turns, or a little more caster that adds stability when you're high speed driving, you'll need camber and caster plates. And those will work directly with 
the Tain Medieval Pro kit as a drop-in option. It's just a replacement for the upper mount. For the BC Racing kit, you'll see that it's got its own special upper mount already that is not alignment adjustable. This would have to go, and then you'll have to use some other custom arrangement to make the top spring captive so that you can use those upper mounts. A couple of people are customizing something like that online. It's not something that's readily available as well. I think it's just another reinforcement that the BC Racing kit with the coil spring isn't necessarily designed as something that you would use for performance driving necessarily. It's just going to have that limitation as well. Again, you could work around it, but it may be a little bit outside of the scope of what you're trying to do to get on the road. So I've kind of thrown a lot of information at you about these kits. Um, if you're not really familiar with how the suspension in these cars is designed, we have another video that's got somewhat of a roadmap or a tour underneath our third generation Civic that you can help identify where some of the product uh, would be installed, some of the features of the factory suspension, and kind of how it's all put together. We're gonna to be doing a little bit more videos that talk about installing and setting both of these systems up to help you get off the ground, whichever one you choose. Now keep in mind that both of these are available from heel toe. Usually we keep the Medieval Pro kits in stock. When they're not, when they're not in stock, they're in Japan being made getting shipped over to us. The BC racing kits are usually available for shipping directly from BC, and we sometimes keep them in stock here as well. So availability usually isn't a concern with either one of them, but if there's ever any doubt, feel free to reach out. That's Heel Toe in your corner, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.